Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moonrock Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Your continued love and support. For those of you that would like to book private reading with me, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services uh, that I do provide. Um, I also wanted to thank you guys so much for the donations that you've been sending in. I truly appreciate you guys so much. Um, with those donations, I do put them right back into the channel um, by purchasing um, additional tarot or oracle decks um, or candles, crystals <laughs> um, that we use for uh, the reading. So thank you guys um, so much for doing that. Um, if you would like to donate to the channel, I do have my PayPal cash app and I also have an Amazon wish list. If you would like to send in a tarot or an oracle deck for me to use for our future uh, pick a card readings. Uh, so today's pick a card reading, we are doing who is thinking about you and what are they uh, thinking and feeling. Okay, so we do have three piles for you guys to choose from today. Uh, pile number one is going to be this smoky uh, citrine for pile number one, smoky citrine. Pile number two is going to be orange calcite. And pile number three is going to be pyrite matrix. So who is thinking about you? What are they thinking and feeling? Okay, and for those of you that are wanting to know the tarot or the oracle decks that I'm using, I always list them in the description box. Um, you can also find other information, um, especially if you are new uh, to my readings. Okay, so pile number one with the smoky citrine, pile two with the orange calcite, and then pile number three with the pyrite matrix. Timestamps are down below, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pal one. So those of you that resonated with this smoky citrine, this is going to be a reading today. So we're finding out who is thinking about you and what are they thinking and feeling. So we're going to start off with these uh, oracle cards first, and then we will start pulling uh, additional oracle cards and then also get into the tarot. But let's check out who is thinking about you. So we have uh, card number 39, The Blessing of Zara. Let's see what else. Let's pull this one. We have Emotional Desert, and it says Inactivity and Isolation. We also have... What is this? 25. Make a choice. That one is number 11. Make a choice. And then the last card that we have is look to your inner strength. And it says you are stronger than you realize. And this is also card number 11. Okay, so we have an 11-11 here. <laughs> um, so that may be significant um, for some of you who know who this is. Okay, so already I'm kind of feeling that this is a person <clears throat> that you may be in little to no contact with. Okay, I feel like this is a person who maybe is thinking a lot about you, seeing signs, synchronicities, they might be having dreams about you, um, kind of going over in their head um, what to say to you, how they want to say it to you, how should they come forward. Um, so this definitely feels like this person may be like an ex-partner, somebody you are no longer in contact with, um, maybe, you know, a, a past person is kind of what this feels like. Um, and it really looks like this person is <clears throat> definitely a in a place where they're wanting to find the, I feel like the inner strength, the confidence, the courage uh, 
to be able to come towards you. I do feel like this person is someone who is incredibly attracted to your beauty or your handsomeness. Um, there may be something about your um, physical body, physical appearance that this person sees is very unique. Um, I feel like this person, some of you I'm noticing, she just has this beautiful um, long hair. So some of you, it could be that is something significant um, to this person about you, is that you have really... Um, beautiful features I'm, I'm getting definitely very attractive um, I'm also getting maybe there's something about your skin um, the way that you smell the way that you take care of yourself um, for some of you I feel like this person um, may and, and this is what I'm just getting for some of you some of you this person may live in a warm climate okay a very warm climate or you could be you know, maybe you've met this person or maybe we're living um, in a warm climate or even during the summer. OK, um, maybe something significant meeting that person. Um, some of you I'm getting that this person may have been somebody that you may have um, taken trips with, gone on vacations with. Um, it, it kind of gives me this vibe that this person sees you as just kind of like this um very ethereal energy about you. It's kind of like they see you as almost like putting you on a pedestal. Okay. Um, I feel like if this person is no longer in your life right now that they, you know, it almost kind of feels like an after the fact thing where this person is looking back to their past time with you and kind of reminiscing on memories and, you know, uh, your smell, your perfume, your cologne, your, you know, the way that you took care of yourself. Um, it This is totally giving me like Empress vibes. Um, so maybe that you were somebody who was very kind, loving, nurturing, compassionate. Um, I have a feeling this person is very um, attracted to you physically um, and a little bit more beyond that, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, I'm trying to keep it clean for YouTube. Um, but there's just something about your essence, your uh, grace, the way that you carry yourself. And I feel like this is something that's pretty significant um, to this person. I do also have a feeling that this person is someone who may have been a little bit withholding in terms of feelings and emotions towards you, or maybe... Um, they could also be someone who I'm getting a person who is doing a lot of like work on themselves, um, detoxing in a way like they're trying to uh, work on being like their best self. And this could be getting their life in order. It could be that they've gone through, you know, a lot of challenges recently um, some of you, this person might really live like in a desert type of place, like um, here where if you guys are outside the U.S., I'm not so familiar with all the desert-y like areas. Um, I know, you know, hot and dry climate is definitely something that's coming through here. Um, as far as the U.S., I mean, the desert like states could be anywhere in California um, Nevada, of course, Arizona, where I just came from, <laughs> um, parts of Texas, um, maybe even parts of like Utah, um, very southwestern, um, New Mexico. Uh, I don't even know if there's any other desert. I think that that's pretty much it for the for U.S. Um, unless I'm forgetting something. Maybe just, yeah, very hot and dry is, is what's coming from here. Nevada, Vegas. Um, this is making me think of like Palm Springs or somewhere in like, um, I don't know, somewhere California desert-like. But regardless of that, I'm feeling for some of you, we have inactivity and isolation. So like I said, maybe some of you have not heard from this person for a while. Maybe they've kind of withdrawn, maybe even from the world. You know, I definitely feel like they're really working on trying to heal. Um, 
they may have been somebody, like I said, who was emotionally unavailable for you, maybe during the time that you were um, dating this person or with this person. Um, this energy is more or less about purification, detoxifying, um, and that could be kind of clearing their life, a lot of purging, a lot of um, uh, this person kind of maybe getting themselves out of situations that are toxic, um, trying to get their life in order, you know, moving to a new new place, um, having a lot of time, I feel like, for reflection. Um, looking at this little picture here, it looks like she's she's gazing into this little ball here and there's a person inside there and this is kind of in the way that I, I picture your person kind of imagining you and just kind of replaying events where the two of you guys were spending time together. Um, I do feel like this person feels very connected to your energy. Okay, some of you this could be maybe even a soulmate or even a divine counterpart um, is kind of what I'm getting from this energy. Um, I feel like this person has had a huge um, change or shift of perspective and just kind of thinking about everything in their life. And I feel like you are somebody who is very stand out to this person. Um, it, Like I said, it kind of feels like an after the fact type of situation, like thinking about what they've lost um, I feel like this person definitely feels blessed that they were able to have that experience with you in their life. Um, some of you, this person may have been someone that didn't take action towards maybe pursuing you when they feel like they should have almost like a missed opportunity. Um, which kind of reminds me of the vibe of the reading that I did yesterday, the long lost love. Um, so some of you might even want to watch that reading if you haven't watched it already. Um, yeah, but I'm just feeling like this person is really trying to work on their, their self, their um, self-esteem. I feel like it's definitely something coming in here. This person might have been somebody who did have low self-esteem or could have been afraid of falling in love. Um difficulties with letting love in and I feel like it's because they may have gone through something that may have been a little toxic um I'm just feeling a lot of clearing for this a lot of clearing of energy here and with the make a choice here like I said I kind of feel like this person is is trying to decide whether or not it's too late like for them to be able to come forward here imagining a lot of dreams I feel like this person has a lot of dreams about you you just kind of I feel like show up in this person's dream state where she her she looks like she's kind of kind of coming out of this like forest with all this like mist surrounding her just kind of very ethereal And I do feel like this person is seeing like a lot of reminders of you. Um, signs, synchronicities. Could be music. Okay, so let's see what else. Let's pull some more Oracle cards here. Hmm. All right, pile one, let's see. Anything else about pile number one's person that is thinking about pile one? We have finance here. Finance. We also have ego. We also have divine time. Some of you, it might even look at that. We've got long distance love here. Some of you, it might even be 
um, a person you work with, okay? Maybe it could also be a person that you don't really talk to so much, okay? Or maybe you've stopped talking to. It, like I said, little to maybe to no contact, okay? We do have long distance love here. And it says across oceans and faraway places, distance is no barrier with this love. We have, wow, we have broken heart here. Now, it could be that this person is someone who does have a broken heart, and maybe that's why there is this emotional desert, like they felt like they had nothing to give, maybe at that time. Um, it could also be a person who maybe did break your heart, um, or you may have broken their heart. Um, maybe for some of you with the divine time here, maybe this person felt like, like you were the right person, wrong time. Like things didn't align. This could have even been like a whole star-crossed lovers type of thing. Um, for some of you with the finance here, this person maybe was not in a place where they were feeling the most secure or stable. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this person, I don't know, maybe some of you literally could have worked in a, at a finance job. Or this person has does finances for work trying to get their finances in order. Um, we do also have ego here, and I'm noticing in this card there's a heart on this side, and there is a little thimble. I mean, for those of you that are not uh, familiar, a thimble is something that you wear on your, your thumb um, when you're sewing so that you don't poke your finger, and there's a needle, a little needle, a little needle going right through that thimble. Um, and so it definitely feels kind of like this little barrier that maybe this person kind of put up to protect their heart. They could also be letting a lot of their pride and ego kind of get in the way of this person kind of coming forward and expressing feelings. So like I said, we have make a choice here. Make a choice. Hmm. For some of you, it may have even been a situation where this person had to make a choice, you know, long distance connection we've got. Um, maybe for some of you, it could have even been uh, making a choice between two people. Okay. Take it how it resonates. This is a general reading. Um, let's pull some tarot now, and then we'll add in some extra oracle cards. Some of you, it might even literally be a person who does have dark hair. Um, she's got a little bit of a uh, tan skin. We've got lighter complexion here and like looks like blondie, blonde. There's actually colored, colored hair here, maybe silver, white. Let's see. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of like solar plexus energy from here, which I feel like goes into some of you. Leo or Leo season is significant. Um, I'm just kind of getting that this person might be somebody who was um, afraid of, of, like I said, falling in love, getting hurt, um, allowing a lot of fear, I feel like, block them. Like I said, it kind of feels like a person who maybe wasn't emotionally available for you at the time. Um, a person who was kind of just choosing to be alone or stay withdrawn or was kind of feeling a little bit withdrawn from you. Okay, let's see. Some of you, there could have been abandonment here because we are literally looking at a desert. So there could have been uh, abandonment or rejection. Um, this person could have a fear of abandonment. Let's see. Let's pull some tarot spirit. Who is thinking about pile number one and what are they thinking and feeling?
I feel I feel some of you this person watches you if you have social media. Um Yeah, any type of social media for somebody this person could be watching you or even looking at old pictures. Okay, is another thing that's coming through. We have the Queen of Swords. Somebody this person could be an air sign. Uh Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you, this person could have been somebody who worked in law enforcement, um, potentially military background, um, somebody who could have been a teacher, um, maybe even working in IT, uh, media, communications, anything having to do with the law, judges, lawyers, attorneys, um, anything with communications. Um, what else? Psychology, psychiatry, anything having to do with the mind, hypnotherapy. Um, what else? We've got the sun. Yeah, so another sun energy here. Leo energy. And here in this card there is... A butterfly that looks like it's emerging out of its cocoon so this person is I mean this person could have been somebody who really watched you transform watch you change watch you maybe even kind of have some type of a glow up um, but I'm definitely getting like this person being somebody who is going through their own change their own um, transformation like I said this person is looking to kind of during the time that you were may have been seeing this person, maybe they weren't their best self. Um, they could have, like I said, been... Uh, it feels like very drained, very hurt. Um, wounded, definitely. Um, and I feel like this person is really kind of... It almost feels like you were a catalyst for some of you. You could have been a catalyst for this person to really kind of reflect within themselves and work on changing, work on growing into becoming a better version of themselves. Okay. Let's see what else. Who is thinking about pile one? The king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could also be someone who is very well educated. I'm also getting a person who has, for some of you, a really good sense of humor. There's somebody who is a very intellectual type for some of you. Very smart. Um, very quick-witted. They have, for some of you, this person has the, the gift of like communication. Like They're really good at talking to people. Um, they're very assertive for some of you. Um, they, for some of you, they may be a person who, who works in a position of power or authority, making decisions. This person is someone who is a visionary, who has a lot of maybe dreams. Um, and then with the King of Pentacles energy here, uh, this is somebody who could be very um, good with making money. Okay, somebody who maybe is very financially secure, wealthy type of person. Um, I feel like this person is really good at manifesting money. Um, they may be somebody who's really into like real estate, uh, stock trading, um, re um, banking, finance, investments, construction. Somebody who's good with their hands, somebody who's good at fixing things. Um, somebody who is very committed when they are committed, they're, they're very committed to whatever it might be, whether it be a relationship once they're in it. Um, and also like work, career, career focus, money could be a little on the, mm, I don't know what I really want to say that they're super materialistic for some of you. Maybe this is a possibility, a materialistic person, meaning that they like to, to, eat nice or delicious food at nice places, <laughs> fine dining, 
Um, they like the, the, the good things in life, okay, with the King of Pentacles. They like to wear nice clothes, um, have a nice car, live in a nice place. Um, let's see what else. So take what fits, okay. Um, let's see what else. Who is thinking about pile number one? And for some of you, it's, it's kind of like the way that this person is, is that I'm kind of getting for some of you, like they put on kind of like the face to the world that they show may come across as very confident and very assertive. But I kind of feel this energy of them kind of struggling on the inside. Okay. Struggling on the inside. Who is thinking about pile number one? Okay, so we got two more. Look at that. All these energy king of wands. Um okay, so this king of wands energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um uh, I feel like this person is somebody who is a really good leader. Okay, they their their, their actions um, may be something that really inspires people, um, and it could be the way that they, I don't know, it could be the way that they make money. You know, um, I feel like other people might think highly of them. Okay, but I'm also getting an energy here where this person thinks highly of you. Okay, so they may even see you as the person who is super intelligent and, you know, um, quick witted and uh... I definitely feel like you are someone who brought in a lot of joy into this person's life. Like I said, I just kind of feel like mm, this person may have undervalued or even underappreciated you at the time. Okay, they may have let their ego, they may even be somebody who does have a little bit of an ego, especially with us having the King of Wands and ego here. <laughs> okay, here we're seeing the King of Wands and um, there's a crown here and there's a there's a robe. So they might they might kind of be a little bit about their status. They might be somebody who worries about what other people think about them. Um, I do feel like this person is also someone who's very passionate and very creative. Okay. They, they, for some of you, this person has a very powerful presence to them and it could be the way that they carry themselves, the way that they walk. Um, you would definitely notice like the King of Wands type of person walking in a room. It would be like all eyes on them. So they might also be somebody who takes really good care of their body. Like I said, for some of this person is really trying to like be better. If a person, um, because this is talking about purging and clearing and stuff like that, if you're maybe if a person had issues with like adult beverages, stuff like that, they could be somebody who's really working on, um, things of of really just clearing clearing them themselves from all of their bad habits behaviors things of that nature um and then you also have the ace of wands here and i i do feel like this person is someone who feels that there is a very passionate energy between the two of you there's a lot of chemistry and attraction um, I feel like this person is, like I said, in very incredibly attracted to you. Kind of like off the charts. Okay. Here it kind of looks like there's a little volcano exploding in the background and the lava is just like there. So that being symbolic of your passion um, with this person, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> it could be very exciting, very passionate. The, the, just the connection, the vibe. Um, that is between the two of you. I do feel like this person is feeling with the Ace of Wands here, if there's potential, they still see that maybe there's still potential here. 
Um, I feel like with the Ace of Wands, like this person is trying to stay optimistic that maybe that if they reach out and communicate with you, if there's still potential for the two of you guys to have a relationship with each other, okay? If that is a possibility. Um, it may not for some of you, okay? Um, and I'm seeing the Seven of Swords at the bottom, and this little bird looks like it's kind of flying away here. We have the Seven of Swords and the Magician with the world. So some of you, this person might be feeling like, is it too late? Okay, is it too late? Um, is it just done? Is it just over? But I feel like this person still has interest in you. Um, and I feel like with the seven of swords energy, cause this can also talk about when our thoughts are really like scattered and kind of ideas that we have, we haven't really kind of organized them. We haven't really, you know, really kind of put the ideas together and set things into motion. And I feel like this person is really trying to work on, you know, communicating with you clearly you know, maybe about what their intentions are, um, things of that nature. Okay. Mm. Now I will say for some of you, cause I'm also seeing the Hierophant under here and the Hangman with justice. Some of you, you may be somebody who's already moved on to another relationship or even married or they could be somebody who's also moved on to another relationship or married. And so that may kind of, this person could be questioning, like, is this even the right time to say anything? Is it even the right thing to do, you know, in this situation? If um, some of you, this person might have cats. Okay, I'm noticing there's this one little orange cat here. Orange and white cat. It's surrounded by a little fox. I don't even know what that is. Looks like a little, I don't know, a weasel, <laughs> a weasel. Um, looks like maybe a little raccoon and a little mouse. Hmm. Some of you, maybe this is like symbolic of this person having children. Some of you, I kind of feel like this person, uh, yeah, this person's definitely had a huge, I feel like, shift of perspective here. We've got a bear and some raccoons here. This person's definitely been masking, I feel like, feelings in that regard. Some of you, we've got uh, Libra, Pisces, the uh, Taurus, um, the four fixed signs, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo with the Magician. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some of you, if, if you guys are, if you're married already or in a relationship or they're, they've got the same thing going on, of course, the seven of swords could be about sneakiness, being trying to be sneaky, trying to get away with something. Um, some of you, there could have been trust issues that this person had, or if this person was somebody who cheated with the broken heart here, like I said, this could have been the way that your connection ended or, um, you know, in that case, like this person could also be nervous or worried. Like, why did I do that? Why did I mess that up? You know, for some of you, I will say this and this, of course, this won't be for all of you, but the way that this cat's face looks. Looks a little bit like unhappy um, with all of these other, other little critters around. It kind of makes me feel for some of you if this person is married or already in another relationship. Like, I don't necessarily want to say they're having regrets. Um, but I definitely feel like, like they're feeling the sting of like a missed opportunity. Like, I should have made things work with pile number one. Okay. Like maybe choosing the wrong path is kind of what I'm getting here. For some of you, I do feel like this person might like to travel a lot or you maybe, you tra like I said, traveled with them. Some of you, maybe that is Egypt. We've got the desert there. Um, going hiking, spending time outdoors. This person might like that as well. Like a nature person for some of you. Hmm. Again, I'm just getting this person being a very powerful uh, manifester here. 
feel like this person feels a little bit nervous about taking action here. Uh, what else do I want to say? Okay, I think I'm going to pull some more Oracle and we'll see. Out right away. Look at that. The ghost lands. Yeah, so here we've got... It kind of looks like a little, I don't know. I want to say it looks like a little clock here, but, you know, and it's like the little thing is like st st frozen, stuck. Frozen and stuck here. So ghost lands. It's kind of like the desert. It's like. Definitely stagnancy here, you know. Cancer energy. Cancer. Let's see what else. Who is thinking about pile number one? And what are they thinking and feeling? We have coming apart. For some of you, this person could be thinking about separation. But again, I'm getting this very strong connection between you and this person. Some of you, like, I feel like soulmates or even like a twin flame. I feel like this person is definitely feeling this, this pain of uh, separation here. And we have the Wizard of Awareness. Okay. All right. So I want to say, especially for those of you where this is a divine counterpart, Twin Flame, I feel like this person could be going through their awakening. Okay. I feel like they're having more of this awareness of really kind of recognition here. Recognition of your connection with them. Um, I feel like this person definitely feels that Almost kind of like this feeling like you guys were destined to be together. Okay. It's it's kind of like a per like I said, kind of after the fact. Like the person didn't realize the magnitude of your connection like until now. And for some of you, there's been a lot of time that has passed. And it's like now they're coming to that realization here. Wow. Okay, so these are the last cards here. Pile number one. Who is thinking about you and what are they thinking and feeling? This was a fun reading to do. Let's see. Okay, so we have investments, stability, wise, practical, the income of money. And that is all King of Pentacles energy. Okay, someone very, very financially stable, very smart with money decisions. Um, very good with finances. Like I said, for some of this person could be really super wealthy, very much into saving and planning. And um, maybe for some of you, that could have been the focus, you know, at this person's uh, life here. They could be a person who also owns businesses. Okay, who is a manager or even executive level at a business. Let's see. Who is thinking about pile number one? We have make believe here and it says imaginary false and too good to be true. And I kind of have a feeling like this person may have thought that about you. And it's kind of like now, you know, like even if you may have told like a person, like we're soulmates, we're twin flames. <laughs> and the person's like, you're crazy. No, we're not. It's like now. Look at that. We've got stubborn here, hard headed, talking to a brick wall. So maybe they were somebody who was stubborn, not listening, you know, um, we also have traveling here, long distance, new faces and new places. We have passport here. So we have long distance here in traveling. So maybe, like I said, maybe they travel for work. 
Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe th there was issues with communication. Hmm. I'm definitely feeling like this person wants to come see you, okay? Traveling to see you. Is what I'm getting here. Like I said, Ace of Wands. Like this person is trying to spark things up again with you, seeing maybe is there still hope? Is there is it still possible? Yeah, I feel like a lot of things are coming to light uh for this person. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile one. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonate with the orange calcite, this is going to be a reading today. So we are finding out who is thinking about you and what are they thinking and feeling. So let's get to these Oracle cards first, and then we will add in some additional uh, Oracle cards as well as uh, the tarot. So, wow, we have number 31 with commitment. Okay. Let's do this little one. We have angels of the seven chakras, power, truth, and connection. Power, truth, and connection, number 35. We have card number two, New Beginnings, Lady of the Air. And uh, the last card here, number 41, Be in Service. Be in Service, such a beautiful card. Okay, let's see. Who is thinking about you? Now, I will say, for some of you, this person may be somebody that you are currently committed to, okay? Or you were in a commitment with them. Maybe for some of you, it's an ex-partner. Some of you with the be in service here, it could literally be a person who has uh, maybe some type of service job, service to others type of job. Um, I'm seeing new beginnings here. So I do feel like this person might be somebody who's maybe recently taken some type of leap of faith, maybe a move, maybe into even a new job. Um, but the angels of the seven chakras makes me feel like this person feels a, a very strong connection to you. Um, a very powerful one. Okay. I'm definitely feeling like I need more information here with this, with this pile. Okay. Let's pull some more Oracle and try to see a little bit more about who this person is. Some of you may, you may have even, uh, worked with this person. Okay. I have a feeling this person is someone who has a very um, compassionate er energy, very empathetic. Um, let's see. They, for some of you, this person could be like a, uh, like have some type of healing job, like, um, like spiritual or even uh, uh, working in healthcare. Okay. A person, some of you, this might only be for one of you, a person who really cares like about um, Mother Earth. Okay. Plants, animals. Um, I'm seeing kind of like maybe even marine life. So they might like the ocean. Let's see what else. Pile number. I 
Again, I'm getting a very strong Leo energy. Pile one had a Leo energy that came through too. So let's see. Pile two, who is thinking about you? Okay, so we have a rendezvous. And it says, have faith and believe. A meeting between you two will take place. Okay, <laughs> we have closeness here. And it says, you and me. And it says the bond between you creates a special understanding. So yeah, I'm feeling there's definitely something um, very strong about your connection with this person. So it almost kind of feels like this feels like a mutual strong connection. So this would be somebody that like would tell you like, wow, we they're like, what is this? This is so strong between the two of us. Um, so I feel like that might help to answer too, like somebody that you had a super strong connection with. Like I said, some of you, it may be the person you're married to. Okay. Or, or in a relationship with, um, maybe for some of you, it could have been a person that you went on little trips with like a, like a little getaway or little vacation doing like fun things with each other. Okay. Trips and stuff like that. Who is thinking about pile number two? We have grief here. Maybe this person misses you. For some of you, maybe if this person is when they're not cl close to you or are away from you, or if you're no longer with this person anymore, they could be feeling grief. Let's see. We have distance here for some of you. Maybe the distance is causing grief. Let's see. Who is thinking about pile number two? We have intuition. So some of you might even like if you even if you're not around this person, you guys might have like maybe for some of you a very telepathic connection. It kind of makes me feel like with all the chakras kind of looking like they're all glowing and all open that this person is somebody who is on the spiritual side. They could be someone who is very intuitive, very in tune with their own energy, your energy, feeling like you guys are so connected to each other. We also have birth here. So some of you, this could even be somebody who is thinking about you a lot. They may be somebody who wants to have children with you if you don't already, um, have a family with you. Um... Some of you, it could be, like I said, your spouse, okay? Maybe uh, there is a new baby here, or they've t maybe you've talked about having a family together. Like, this is, I feel like, more, like, serious, okay? Um, you know, especially if, for whatever reason, things didn't work out, you know, um, and this person and you were talking about, like, you know, planning a future together, uh, things of that nature. Some of you, and this may only be for mm, maybe one of you, okay? But some of you, it could have even been the loss of a pregnancy, a person that you maybe had a, a pregnancy with, um, and the pregnancy was lost, okay? That may be something significant for some of you. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, so let's pull some tarot and see. Now, some of you, there could be air sign energy here. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm noticing that we have the Lady of Air here, and there's a hot air balloon right underneath here. I feel like this person is thinking about potentially a new beginning in a relationship for you, new beginning for your commitment. I'm definitely feeling like this person is missing you. Missing how close you guys were. This person may be wanting to spend some time with you with the rendezvous, time to get away. It feels like this person wants... Um, I'm getting a person who may like want to help you or maybe you were somebody who really helped them. Okay. Let's see. 
whether that is like being supportive of them. Um, it kind of feels like a very mutual energy here. Okay, let's see what else. Pile number two. We have the Three of Cups. Okay, so some of you, this could have been you guys spending a lot of time together. The Three of Cups can talk about friendships, socializing. Um, maybe you guys have the same mutual friends, circle of friends. I mean, it might even be a friend for some of you. Okay, misses the closeness here. Some of you, it might not be romantic at all. Okay, it could be a friendship here. So take that if it resonates. They look like they're all sitting around, <laughs> sitting around the little turtle table here, talking and having tea with each other. Restaurant, cafe. Okay, so some of you, yes, it might be a friend. Okay, let's see. I was thinking about pile number... Okay, so we have the five of wands here. Um, okay, I'm going to say... Mm, this kind of feels... Like there might be a little bit of jealousy here. Okay, and that won't be for all of you. But the five of wands can talk about jealousy, um, competition... I'm literally seeing a fire here in the forest. Um, the Five of Wands can talk about conflict, tension, arguments, um, little disagreements. So maybe for some of you, you could have had a little bit of a fight with this person. Or there could even be outside influences that have caused conflict here for some of you. Other people getting involved. Maybe they're sitting around gossiping. I don't know. Let's see. What else? Who is thinking about you? If it's a friend, you know, that Five of Wands could very well be speaking about the two of you guys having an argument with each other or even allowing another person. This could even be like a situation where there's a friend group here and one friend is getting jealous of being close with another person, like you two being closer than the other friend and just a whole problem here. Um, or even at work too, okay? Person you work with. Who is thinking about you? We've got, yeah, some of you, it's work. Work or school, okay. Work or school. If you guys do work or go to school with each other, it might even be the, the inner conflict that they're having about maybe being with you. Maybe there is some issue surrounding that, okay. Who is thinking about pile number two? We have the tower. So yeah, maybe for some of you, you had a falling out here. Um, a little bit of a chaotic energy here, some upheaval. And we have the nine of cups here. I kind of feel like this person wants to reconcile with you, okay? Um, for some of you, this person could be someone who's going through some big life changes with work they could be quitting, or maybe there's somebody getting fired here. I don't know. Somebody quit or left. Um, but I feel like with this Nine of Cups energy here, I'm noticing also, which I always notice when I pull this little card here, this little octopus is laying down um, on its back and there's little tears. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's little tears that are rolling out of the of this uh, octopus's eye. So the Nine of Cups is about happiness. It's about fulfillment, satisfaction, wish fulfillment. So I feel like I said for some of you, this person is wanting to resolve things with you, make amends. I feel like they miss you. They miss the closeness here. Feels like they want reconciliation here. They want to talk to you. They want to go on a date with you. They want to Yeah, I feel like ask you out here. I'm seeing the star at the bottom. So we also have what? We have Aquarius energy here, Scorpio, Aries. Okay. Energy is also here. Um I feel like this person is is trying to remain optimistic and hopeful 
trying to have trust and faith that you guys will come together again or to, um, you know, be able to put your differences aside or move past whatever challenges are here. Um, both the three of cups and the nine of cups can also talk about parties and celebrations. Okay. So for some of you, it could even be a person that you went, because we literally have rendezvous here and there's a little mask here. So it kind of reminds me of one of those little fancy parties where everybody wears like a little mask. So maybe some of you may have done something fun like that with this person. Hmm. But yes, I'm feeling like this person is someone who is trying to remain optimistic that this um, connection will heal. Also, that the two of you guys will reunite with each other in some capacity or that things will work out. Okay. Some of you I'm getting, a, a, I'm seeing the Hierophant here. Some of you, this could be a teacher. Okay. There's definitely feelings here, but this person I feel like is afraid of um, coming forward. This person might be, you know, feeling romantic feelings towards you. Like I said, some of you, it could be a friend. Okay, part of your social group. And maybe this person is starting to develop romantic feelings for you, thinking about you in a romantic way and maybe too afraid of letting you know. Okay, I'm looking also at the hermit card here. And this hermit looks like it's sitting down writing a letter. Um... This person might be withdrawn from you at this time, or they may have been a little bit withdrawn lately. I feel like this person has fear of uh, taking the risk, you know, especially if you guys are friends, moving from that place to romantic can also be a big leap of faith here that might be scaring this person. Um, those of you where the person is somebody that you work with or go to school with, the Hierophant can also be a religious or spiritual leader. So like if the person is a priest um, or a teacher, um, of course, there can be conflict that's there. How are other people going to perceive this? Okay. <laughs> um, but we do also have the Knight, or I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands here and also the Knight of Cups at the bottom too. So I definitely feel like this person is super attracted to you. Um, I feel like this person wants to come forward here with the Knight of Cups and to confess their feelings um, tell you how much they are attracted to you. Um, like I said, ask you out, profess feelings here. Hmm. Bring you some type of offer here is, is, is what I'm getting. Okay. Now we're going to, let's pull some Oracle here. Pile number two. Who is thinking about pile two and what are they thinking and feeling? Some of you, I feel like you are this person's like wish fulfillment. We have both wish fulfillment cards here, the nine of cups and the star. Um, the star is also about destiny. So this person might feel like you're destined to end up together or you're destined to be with each other. Um, okay, so we've got Field of Dreams here. So definitely feeling like this person thinks and spends a lot of time thinking about you, dreaming about you. Um, I feel like this person is someone who kind of talks to you in their mind. Okay. They might talk to you, look at pictures of you and say things to you, like trying to um, kind of get their head straight. Dream, Lots of dreams about you. Okay. We also have wide open here and the gentle gardener. I'm noticing that all three of these cards... They also, they all kind of have the same energy, okay? Here we've got the little fairies that are sitting on the eggs. And it looks like one of the fairies is kind of sending up like these messages into, into the ethers. And then here, there's like this grandmother spirit that is looking down on the little, 
eggs here. Some of you, this person could have had somebody that recently passed away too, maybe even a feminine energy. It could be a, a maybe a parent or a grandparent, okay? Or somebody who is grieving the loss of someone maybe a little older here. Um, like I said, some of you, it could even be spirit baby. But the, the what I'm saying here is that I'm noticing that in all three of these cards, it almost looks like all three energies are kind of looking up to the sky in a way. Like she's got her arms wide open and she's at the top of the mountain and she's like looking like she's wishing on a star, literally. We all, and all of them are all looking at the star. Here, the fairies are sitting, looking up in the sky. There's the stars there. And then we've got like the guardian angels, spirit guides, uh, loved ones in spirit that are kind of looking down. So this almost makes me feel like this person could be making wishes, wishes that they could be with you or that things are going to work out or that they're making the right choice. Like they're trying to receive guidance from maybe a passed on loved one or, um, like I said, this person, I feel like for some of you is very spiritual. Okay. I feel like this person is maybe in a place where they're wanting to open, really open themselves up to and really nurture um, instead of just kind of dreaming about it. Like they want to actually manifest it and kind of make it happen. And that may be what they're trying to do here is manifest connection with you. Okay. All right. I'm hearing the gardener, you guys. So hopefully it doesn't get too loud. Yeah. So just saw confusion. So who is thinking about pile number two and what are they thinking and feeling? We have the sour patch, <laughs> hot and cold, mixed feelings off and on. We've got another message about celebrations, good times and get togethers. And we have that with, uh, what was it again? The rendezvous, the three of cups, the nine of cups. So celebrations here. Uh, the sour patch. They could have been somebody who has been very hot and cold with you. Maybe a little moody too. Um, we've got the rainbow here and it said bad vibes clearing up. So maybe there's somebody who has been a little bit on the side of kind of, I don't know, maybe they, if they're going through something, they could have been projecting um, certain things on you and maybe kind of being a little cold and distant at times. But it looks like this person is trying to really work through that energy. It can also be that you guys have been like this way with each other. Maybe hot and cold or off and on type of connection. Okay. We have open up here. We've got shy, timid, and reserved. That can really speaking about this person's type of personality. Maybe they are reserved. Maybe they are a little bit shy. Um, we also have a muse here, artistic inspiration, entertainment. Maybe the person works in entertainment. Maybe they are an artist here. Okay. You might also be something, someone that really inspires this person. Okay. If you're an artist, we also have fireworks here, loving, passionate, and intimacy. So they really kind of feel these sparks fly with you. I'm also seeing cloud nine here and it says bliss of happiness and seems like a dream. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I feel like this person is someone who thinks a lot about you. Okay, they get kind of swept away in, in, in thoughts about you. But I do feel for somebody this person could be going through maybe something here personal or, you know, especially if there's grief here. Um, it could be over your connection, but it might also be over, you know, like I said, something else that they've got going on in their life that they're still dealing with. And that may explain a little bit of the hot and cold energy here. All right, so I'm going to leave it here for you, pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with the pyrite matrix car, or I'm sorry, crystal, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out who is thinking about you and what are they thinking and feeling. So we're going to start off with uh, these oracle cards, and then we will add in some additional cards, and then uh, the tarot. Okay. So who is thinking about you? We have the lion and the deer, uh, card number 22, the lion and the deer. We have number 12, have patience. Okay. 
We have soulful appreciation with heartfelt gratitude. Okay, number 30. Let's see. And then we have number 22. You have two 22s here. 22, two, two. So maybe some of you are seeing that number a lot. Two, two, twos or two, 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 two. Um, we have leap of faith here. Okay. Have patience and leap of faith with soulful appreciation, heartfelt gratitude. This almost makes me feel like this person who's thinking about you is someone that you may have helped a lot, okay? Maybe given a lot too. And it almost kind of makes me feel like you, because we have the lion and the deer here. And I kind of see the deer as something that is more, I'm getting very like feminine energy from it, like very nurturing, um, very intuitive. And uh, with the lion, this to me, when I'm, I'm like literally picturing a lion, a lion and a deer in front of each other. And it kind of makes me feel, in some of you, this person, there's a lot of Leo energy that came through across every single pile today. I don't know what's going on. Lots of Leo energy. But it kind of makes me feel that you are someone... How do I want to explain this? That you to this person are someone who kind of almost like you kind of like make them putty in your hands. You know, because also with the lion energy, it reminds me a lot of the strength card and how um, if you are familiar with the traditional Rider weight tarot, the strength card, there is a, um, a woman who is kind of, and I'm trying to flip through here. Um, there's a woman who's kind of holding the, um, the lion's head and just kind of like being very gentle, trying to close, you know, its mouth, not trying to force it shut, but more or less trying to, you know, just be very gentle. And I kind of have the feeling that you are kind of like that, the lady in a way that you have a certain power over the, over this person, not in a, in a bad way, like you're trying to control them. But more or less, when they're around you, <laughs> it's kind of like you literally turn, like they turn into jelly or putty or something. It's just kind of like your weakness, like you make them weak, okay, <laughs> is kind of what I'm getting with that. Where is this strength card? Um, yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's kind of like you you come in with this this very different just beautiful energy um so i definitely feel like this person feels that there's a very strong connection between the two of you um like i said i kind of feel like maybe you were somebody who really helped this person to kind of have maybe more self-control to take to be more confident in the self like you may have been somebody who really kind of made this person feel good with your compassion, with your empathy, with your kindness, which is also something with the strength card, gentleness and compassion. Um, like you could have been someone who helped them to like change bad habits or to, you know, work on feeling more confident in themselves, feel better, um, you know, boost up their self-esteem or just something like your inner strength but in a way that you came through with a lot of, maybe you're somebody who also is very confident in yourself and it's kind of like you help that person to be more confident about themselves, about getting control of their feelings, of their emotions. And um, yeah, it kind of made, like almost like you brought about this calm, 
this calming energy is kind of what I get here. Like you, like when they're in their, in your presence, like you are someone who just kind of makes them feel good. It feels right. It feels comfortable. It feels like home, you know, like it, it, it just feels right when they're, you know, something about it. And so we have heartfelt gratitude here. And on one side of the scale, there's a bunch of coins that are kind of stacked up. And then on the other side, there's this beautiful butterfly, you know, so I, I feel like maybe, I mean, it could also be the other way around too. It could be that, that you were kind of like at a low point maybe, and this person kind of came in and really kind of picked you up and was there. It definitely feels like a very supportive energy, like either you supporting them, them supporting you. And maybe for some of you, it is financial. Maybe you gave them financial help or, you know, something that really kind of has stuck with this person. Um, but it looks like with the leap of faith here and have patience that this person is wanting to maybe say something to you, come towards you thanking you, you know, taking time to really appreciate the person that you've been with them. Um, I'm interested to see what the lion and the deer actually says to see what, what message. So let's look, this is the roomy Oracle. Um, let's see 22. Like just a very balanced, harmonious connection that they felt with you. Okay. Regardless if that's not what it is right now, <laughs> maybe for some of you, but it just kind of felt like with 22, 22, the twos are all about balance, about harmony. Um, okay, so let's see. What do we want to read here? Let's see what the message of the oracle is. Where is it? Okay, it says this oracle brings you a special message. You are rediscovering a part of yourself that has been lost or submerged underneath more practical concerns. Of course, if practicality is about survival, then learning to be your true self's most essential and practical. All other paths lead to death of the soul. You are asked to bear the chaos of this rediscovery. It may be that talents from this or other lifetimes are reawakened and cause you some discomfort at first, even though they will ultimately bring joy and greater fulfillment. So yeah, it kind of makes me feel like I said that, that you are somebody who just kind of maybe help them to feel more confident in themselves or, you know, there's a lot of transformation type of energy here with the butterfly being there. And this person might feel like I owe you so much. Like you don't know how, how much I appreciate you, how grateful I am, you know, to have had this experience or that experience with you and how significant you are to this person's soul's growth. Okay. So let's pull some more Oracle cards and see. Yeah. I feel like you're somebody who kind of really helped this person to see maybe life or themselves or, just kind of brought in this fresh new perspective for them. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Maybe, you know, you could have encouraged them to try something. Like if they didn't believe in themselves, like you told them, Hey, you know what? You're, you're good at doing this. You, maybe you should apply for that job or you should go to school for this. Or you, you'd, you know, almost like you were somebody who was so supportive of their, of them fulfilling their dreams or, you know, anything like that. So let's see what else. Who is thinking about you? Kind of like a very integral part of this person's uh, journey. So who is thinking about you and what are they thinking and feeling? Okay, so we have friendship here. So maybe for some of you, it is a friend. What else do we have? The key. The key and friendship. We also have freedom. It says truly, madly, deeply. It says love can only flourish and grow in freedom. Create space to receive more. 
who is thinking about pile three and what are they thinking and feeling we also have tough love here wow <laughs> it says this love acts tough or detached as a way to protect their hearts and maybe they were somebody who was maybe a little difficult to get through for them to kind of soften here okay they could have been somebody who also may have been a little bit guarded or had with the patience here maybe kind of letting the guard down to like let you in okay even if it is romantic i mean you could have been a really good friend to this person okay who is thinking we have carnival here so maybe some of you have gone to like some type of carnival or festival or some type of amusement park here um, some of you I'm also getting with the carnival because this is a carousel and the carousel kind of goes around and around. Uh, maybe for some of you, it could have been maybe a cycle this person could have been stuck in or that your relationship or connection could have gone around in circles and not really made any progress. Okay, that might be the case for some of you. We also have self-love here. Okay, so for some of you, maybe this person was somebody who kind of stayed a little detached or felt like they needed a little bit of space. They could have been telling you somebody like, I need a little bit more time. I need to focus on myself right now. Um, you know, or like I said, vice versa, they could have been someone who inspired you to focus on your healing, you know, and self love for yourself. Um, yeah, I feel like there's definitely something that you've unlocked uh, within this person. Maybe you were somebody who literally gave this person tough love and helped them to really kind of see, like I said, see things differently. There's a lot of beautiful energy here in that soulful appreciation card. Whatever this is that you that they've that they've done for you, or the, or that you know you've done for them, it's definitely something that sticks out in this person's mind. Your kindness, your generosity, uh, just holding much much gratitude. Um, in their heart. So let's pull some uh, tarot here and see. Who is thinking about you and what are they thinking and feeling? Pile number three. <clears throat> we have the seven of pentacles. Also, another message about patience, but the Seven of Pentacles is about taking a pause to reevaluate and reassess. And this is when we've been putting energy into something and we're, you know, we could be feeling a little bit frustrated at this time. We're waiting for, for something to manifest, something to, um, something to harvest, especially if there's been something we've been working towards. We want to see the fruits of our labor. And that's what this card is about. So we'll see. You know, you could have kind of encouraged this person to kind of really dig deeper within themselves or to maybe be more self-reflective, you know, to find inner peace, to find inner calm, to relax, <laughs> relax. Who is thinking about you? Pile number three. And what are they thinking and feeling? We also have the Ace of Swords. Okay. Well, the Ace of Swords is about truth. It's about clarity. It's about having some type of epiphany, a realization. Okay. So they could be having some type of a realization about you. Maybe how significant you are to them, how important you are to them. It could be that this person is wanting to come forward and speak truth to you, the truth of what's in their soul. And here she's just kind of standing here with her sword, with her eyes closed. She's meditating. Who is thinking about pile number three? We have temperance here. Some of this person could be a Sagittarius. I'm also getting Pisces energy here. Yeah, look at even this temperance card. We have this unicorn who has kind of like this reflection here in the water. So the temperance card is about balance. It's also about healing. Another card of patience, 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 patience. Okay, maybe this is somebody that you've been waiting to reach out to you. Maybe you haven't heard from this person for a while. Okay. 
maybe they've been working on themselves, healing. Um, but I definitely feel like with Temperance being here that this person feels like you guys balance each other out. Okay. Who is, and we've got what the moon in reverse. I'm going to take it in reverse. We have the five of cups here. Okay. Yeah. Pisces energy. We also have Scorpio. Um, so we have the five of cups. The five of cups can really talk about some difficult emotions, challenging emotions, more Pisces energy. Okay. I was definitely feeling it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like with the even with the high priestess being at the bottom here, um, this high priestess, she's all covered up, okay? And the high priestess energy is definitely talking about secrets, concealing or hiding something. This person might also be somebody who is a little on the shy side or even reserved. Um, I do feel like this person could be somebody who is very wise. They may also see you as somebody who is incredibly wise and intuitive. And maybe, like I said, you've been able to give this person a lot of guidance here. Um, the Five of Cups can talk about grief, regret, guilt, um, shame, uh, feelings of loss, hopelessness, maybe even depression. So some of you, this person could have been really struggling with their emotions here. Or you could have been, like I said, struggling with your emotions. And it's the complete opposite where this person came in and kind of helped you um, in some regard there as well. Um, some of you, I feel like there might be a little bit of some mental health issues here, okay? Um, and you maybe you're somebody who was very kind and compassionate, understanding of them being in that state and kind of came in to really, you know, kind of like come to the rescue, help them to kind of sort through their feelings, their emotions, or help them when they were going through a really difficult time, okay? I feel like this person does struggle with their emotions um, a little bit, and I feel like you've your connection has definitely helped with them with a lot of healing, a lot of finding more balance and more groundedness um, within themselves, helping them to really transmute a lot of energy here, okay, um, is what I'm seeing. So let's pull some more Oracle here and see... What else? Pile number three. Who is thinking about you and what are they thinking and feeling? And some of you, if you guys are say like you have, this is like an ex-partner, that five of cups can definitely talk about them feeling guilty or having regrets or feeling grief. Okay. Especially for those of you where like this person has been no contact here, which could be the case with the high priestess energy. I feel like this person is wanting to really kind of let you know how they feel. Okay. We do have the gentle gardener here. Also, again, a number two. Number two. We have the magic stream. Yeah, I definitely feel like this person sees you as somebody who just has a very healing presence to you just being around you is something that makes this person feel calm and I also notice this is like the same bird here as these little birds over here I think right they both have these little pointy beaks okay and we have the storm the storm fields yeah, it, it just really makes me feel like, you know, maybe there was a little bit of a chaotic energy happening between the two of you. Um, or like I said, it could have been something this person may have been going through here. I also feel like there's a lot of feelings and emotions that this person is feeling that they need to com come forward and talk to you about. A lot that needs to be said, okay, is definitely what I'm feeling here. A lot to get off their chest, a lot to communicate with you, okay? This person could be coming forward with some type of offer here to kind of maybe even if this person is not in your life anymore to kind of uh, come back in. Who is thinking about pile three and what are they thinking and feeling? We have winter here with frozen and no progress. Some of you, like I said, no contact, um, no action. We have loyal here, trustworthy, reliable, and honors you. 
We also have spoiled here, comfortable and being taken care of. So yes, I definitely feel like your energy was something that made this person feel good. Um, it could be that they want to turn around and show you how much they appreciate you by spoiling you, taking care of you, making you feel pampered, making you feel um, comfortable here. We've got happy home. It says things going well, happy and content. So some of you, it's like this person may be wanting to create connection with you, building something with you. I'm also seeing workaholic here too. And it says take time to make room for love. Uh, work may be overwhelming and keeping connections alive. Um, some of you, it could be that this person was somebody who was very work focused and maybe ignoring self care. Um, some of you might work with this person. Some of you, this could be even like an online kind of gaming, I don't know, connection, something of that nature. Okay. I'm also seeing vacation here and it says getaway, unwind and relaxation and also wise here. Think smart and take your time. So definitely feeling like this person wants you in their life, back in their life. Um, they may be wanting to kind of go on a little getaway with here. But also, I feel like this person is wanting to, you know, make sure everything kind of works out in a grounded and balanced way. You know, they may feel like taking your time. Maybe this is kind of like taking baby steps in your connection to really build something uh, st more stable. I am seeing traditions at the bottom, morals, values, and family roots. So it may even be that this person is somebody who is wanting to build a life with you, you know, have a traditional type of a commitment here and can see themselves being with you, but also wanting to make sure they're making the right choice, taking their time, the right moves, not really rushing into something, but just more or less just kind of feeling into it. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.